and I'd like to welcome you to uh, Photoshop 1 Lesson 3 and what we're going to do right now is concentrate on selections. So we are going to fire up Photoshop. We're going to we're going to reset all of our windows again. So I'm going to hold down command option shift for the Mac and getting actually I'm just going to get ready to press them down. I'm going to click and hold down. And there it is. Delete the Photoshop settings file. Yes. Good. And that resets all of my windows back to their original state. And everybody's windows should basically be the same. I'm hearing from some people that their windows on a Windows machine looks a little bit odd say odd, I guess I should say different. By the way, the um, the Windows startup uh, keys are Control alt shift Control alt shift That's what you quickly hold down when you restart. If that still doesn't work for you, in actual fact, you can go to Preferences and reset the preferences on uh, when you quit and then quit everything. Okay. So here we are at the opening screen, and what we want to do is we want to go into the uh, we want to go to our lesson on the folder for lesson three, and you want to download the start uh, the the start file. Open your start file, and you will see this. Okay, so. Let's talk first about all of the tools that we're going to be using today. And the tools that I want to talk about are the selection tools. So let's actually talk about the different areas of selection. So we've got the geometric selections. So that is here. I'm going to zoom in on it and let you see. So we have the marquee. Or the rectangular marquee tool and the elliptical marquee tool. So if you want to pick some, a selection that is a rectangle uh, or a rectangle will fit around it, then use this. The elliptical marquee tool is obviously something more circular or uh, elliptical. We also have the single row marquee tool and the single column marquee tool. I have never used those ever. All right, so. Other methods of selection would be the lasso tool, which lets you just go around something. We've used that before. The polygonal lasso tool, which lets you also create a polygon. The magnetic lasso tool, which will, as you go around, stick to edges. It's very cool. And then the last two types, uh, those were freehand selections. Last two types is an edge-based selection, which is the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. Something brand new in the 2020 um, version that was not in 2019 is the object selection tool. And I'll show you how awesome that is in just a second. All right, so the first thing that I want you to do is we are going to save this as a working file. Pick save as. This thing right here uh, is new. We're gonna say don't show again and save on your computer. Unless you happen to have uh, the need to want to save the cloud documents or whatever, uh, maybe with your Adobe ID. I don't want to. I'm going to save on my computer. I'm going to change this to working, 03 working. I'm going to go into my Google Drive, Comtech, Photoshop 1, and I'm going to save it in here. And then my Backup and Sync app will upload that. So let's zoom on in. That's Z, and I have the scrubby zoom turned on right here, so I am clicking and dragging inwards. Another way, I'll go Command-0 or Control-0 in order to go back, 
If you have the scrubby zoom turned off and with the zoom tool, you can actually just draw a box around the part that you want and boom, it zooms on in. Hold down the space bar to move this around. You automatically get the hand tool and you hold down the space bar. Great, okay, so we want to select this sand dollar. And what I want you to do is I want you to select the quick selection tool. That's this guy right here, quick selection tool, and make sure that enhance edge is turned on. Then in an area that is kind of off white, I would say around here, just click once, boom. And you'll notice that the enhance edge actually thought about it for a second and then selected the entire sand dollar. So that is very cool. I like that. See if it works for you. Now what I want you to do is I want you to deselect this. Okay, so that's Command D on a Mac, Control D on a PC. So Command D, I deselected it. And it's not in the instructions, but I want you to try this object selection tool. The object selection tool lets you click and drag around an area, and then it just uses artificial intelligence to pick the edges. And it takes a little while and thinks about it and does all of its calculations, and it's got it. Awesome. You will notice that this is pretty good for picking people. Uh, we, I've been using it uh, a lot lately, and when you want to select a person, this is way better than the other selection tools. So I'm loving this new thing. Okay, very nerdy statement to make. Let's move on. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move this. So let's go Command-0 and or control zero, zoom all the way out. The move tool is the letter V. So hit the letter V and we have our move tool, which is up here. All right, once you've got the move tool, then you will notice that the sand dollar is still selected. We are going to pull this into A. Do you notice how when I move over top though, do you see how I move over top, it gives me the little scissors? That means it's gonna cut it out of there. And what it's gonna leave, actually, is our background color, which the default is white. So, going to click and drag and pull this right up here and let go. See how it left white in the bottom? If our background was unlocked, it would leave a transparent background. All right. And then what we want to do is we want to uh, deselect what we've got. Command D or Control D or go to select and say deselect. Awesome. Good job. 